Use your reaction to make a melee attack against that creature. Oh yeah, that's whatever as fuck. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, Warrior of Elements. Attack at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Because you're blind. Because you're blind. Uh, yeah, Warrior for four elements. All right. No four. Honest thoughts. No four. Honest thoughts. No four. Just elements. Oh, of the elements. Presumably because they actually added more <laughs> yeah. elements. Um, based on what we got, uh, it's okay. So it's. I think it's quite a bit better than the articles uh, explaining here because I've heard a couple. I've heard some people talking about it in videos. It's actually quite cool. Uh, that's good to hear. That, that makes me genuinely happy. I it just. It's like ah, your attacks give you ten feet of reach. It's like okay, so your astral self. Like well, you get elemental damage. You're like yeah, but astral self does force damage. <laughs> like I mean, astral self probably won't do force damage anymore. But yeah. I would, I mean, um, so many things give you magic force damage that I'd be a little annoyed if it didn't. I mean, it doesn't matter because I mean, at level five, you do force damage anyway. Oh, right, so. right, 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 right. Um, you can also push or pull a target 10 feet. You get the elementalism cantrip. Yeah, from what I remember, people were saying, and I, it's a little annoying. The article's actually not mentioning this. Um, you can, like, spend key points to, like, uh, cause elemental effects to happen. That's cool. That's the part where it says, as you level up, you get the ability to create AOE elemental burst, ways to navigate the battlefield, and damage resistances to aid survivability. Yeah, people are saying that, like, you spend key points to, like, do other stuff. Oh. Oh, they put out a separate article on just the four elements. Just the elements. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I just realized if you click it, it hyperlinks over. Um. Uh, striking out uh, elemental infuse punch reach out and grab them so level 3 you get the elementalism cantrip which is a new like prestidigitation that's focused around elemental effects level 6 um, at the cost of only 2 focus points and a magic action uh, you'll be happy you've got the elemental burst when you need to break out the flashy kabumi side of the uh, oh my god some of the writing sometimes um, this feature allows you to detonate a 20 foot radius sphere explosion of acid cold fire lightning or thunder damage targets in the sphere that fail their deck save uh, take damage equal to 3 rolls of your martial arts die um uh, as your martial arts die increases, so your damage output with this ability, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Stride of the elements at level 11. Uh, well, this feature may mechanically... Uh, trying to read and speak at the same time here. Uh, this upgrades elemental attunement, providing you a fly speed and a swim speed equal to your speed while it's active. Wait, which... Upgrade your elemental attunement. Which ability is elemental attunement? Okay, I'm slightly confused on that one. Um, well, this feature may mechanically give you fly swim seed, blah, blah, blah. Part of the... Elemental attunement is level three ability. Is it? I see element. It yeah. says manipulate elements. Look, scroll up. Go <laughs> up? Oh, there it is. This article is organized uh, like organized very weird. shit. Uh, it infu okay, so elemental attunement infuses your unarmed strikes with elemental energy, extends your reach to f 10 feet, and allows you to output acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage, and provides the potential to toss your enemies around on the battlefield. Uh, monks who throw elemental hands as soon as they can for as long as will be happy to hear that this is an extremely efficient feature. You can enter elemental attunement for one focus point at the start of your turn. So you're not wasting an action, blah, blah, blah. The state lasts 10 minutes. Okay. So you go into like elemental sicker mode and start throwing out damage. You do, you do the, you do the fucking avatar. You get the water whippies on your arm and start thwipping dudes. Yeah. Um, okay. And then, so it's saying stride of the elements, uh, Upgrade your elemental attunement. Ah, so when you go sicko mode, you get extra stuff. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, 
This person definitely watched Avatar and they said, and of course, this includes making an ice slide or using jets of fire to propel themselves across the battlefield. Hmm. Yeah. OK. And then it immediately says below that. Nice move, Twinkle Toes. I, yes, we got it, bud. You watched Avatar. We also watched Avatar. Yes, we <laughs> understand. Um, having a 10 foot reach on your unarmed strikes plus a fly speed makes you almost impossible to pin down. Plus, you have L there's a lot of just like opinion shit here, and that's not what I want. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing that's killing me. It's like the disciple no longer all this is like the fact that it's all bolded makes you think that that's it's, it. yeah yeah it's <laughs> not the ability feature <laughs> yeah sorry for anyone who's listening we're trying to parse out what is actually talking about the abilities and what is just the person giving their opinion on it which is not what we're trying to get right now uh elemental epitome uh this well-named feature bro this well-named feature is the epitome of your elemental attunement it provides a defense movement base and offense boost to your kit and really makes you Feel like a mass. Oh, okay. First, you gain resistance to acid, cold, fire, lightning, and thunder. Uh, and you can change which damage type your resistance applies at the start of each of your turns. Cool. So you go avatar state. <laughs> Next, your step of the wind gets a buff, allowing you to travel 20 feet further uh, while flying or swimming. Uh, and dish out elemental damage equal to one of your martial arts die to any creature you get within five feet of you. Okay, so it's Ang's avatar state when he was facing Fire Lord Ozai and he had the spinny elements around him. I really don't like that it says while flying or swimming, I may remind you. No, yeah. you yeah. may not. I remember. <laughs> Last, when you hit with an unarmed strike, you could deal extra damage equal to one of your martial arts die once per turn, seeing as you're sure. OK, uh, yeah. So. Getting all the opinion nonsense out of there. Yes. Elemental Monk seems a lot cooler. <laughs> a lot of that. Fair enough. As we tried to parse it all out, a lot of that does seem fun. You get an avatar state, you get a sicko mode, you get a you get a mini avatar state and a full blown avatar state. <laughs> you get some elemental explosion stuff, you get some resistances. It's, it's you can deal all of the various damage types. That's cool. Basically, they just made a new subclass and completely took out old warrior of the four elements because it's, it was like it was bad. Before, well, yeah. And before it was just the monk who occasionally cast spells is how that old one worked. And nobody liked that because that's not no, I was born. Why would I want to do that when I'm playing monk? So, yeah. Yeah, the, the sad thing, I always love people like, oh, so you want to play the avatar? Cool. Don't play multi class way of four elements with fucking druid. That's how yeah, you do that. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. Mm, that sucks. Yep. Uh,